so I wanted to talk to you about nutrition labels. Um, what is, what's going on on the back? Because I just usually pick up my food, I don't pay any attention to what's going on on this label. Um, so what does it mean <laughs> for me? Yeah, and Sarah, you know, let me tell you the honest truth, very few people really probably do. <laughs> so you're not alone. Um, I'd like to, you know, break down some of the barriers so that next time you're, you know, trying to decide to buy a food and whether it's a good healthy choice for you, I want to give you, you know, just the rundown. So we'll kind of just start at the top okay, and then yeah. we'll just, okay. So let's just go through, let's, first of all, our product. So yes, you have to know what you're actually eating, right? Oh, old fashioned rolled oats, whole grain. It says the world's best oatmeal, great choice. Okay, so when you're talking oatmeal, presumably you're gonna serve this for breakfast and you're gonna need to first off know what is a serving size, okay? So are you just gonna dump a bunch into your pot of water? I don't know, most people do, right? But let's go through this. A serving size is a half a cup and that's dry. It's gonna be more when you cook it. I think this is a pretty good serving size. Sometimes serving sizes like ice cream when it says half a cup, no one eats that. <laughs> Come on, minimum of a cup. You most people in a bowl of ice cream, it's two or three servings. In this case, I feel we're doing good with our half cup. So let's say you measure out a half cup and then you cook it in water. What is this gonna give us? Well, it's gonna give you 190 calories, which really for a person your age and you know your gender and your size, that's a little low. Like you would really probably want a breakfast of about 400 calories minimum, which would also be a great choice to just kind of interject that also a, a bowl of oatmeal is really not enough protein for a breakfast serving so you'd want to probably add an egg or two in there or another protein source to go along with your oatmeal or some greek yogurt something like that but we'll just we're just talking about the nutrition label for right now so this is going to give you 190 calories and of that your first line here um, after the big title is going to be total fat so in this case four grams. Now that's naturally occurring and that's actually, a, you know, we do want some fat. We don't believe anymore from the 80s and 90s, oh, low fat, low fat, low fat. Okay. There's all sorts of bad fats in the world, like Crisco oil or, you know, margarine and things like that. But this is going to be naturally occurring good fat. This is, you know, nothing to be worried about with four grams. Um, it has, the next line is saturated fat. It says there's one gram of saturated fat. Um, you know, over here, you're going to see that now there's all these percentages. And what does that mean? Well, the nutrition label percentage is going to be what is a recommended daily allowance. Okay. So that's called the RDA. And nutritionists use this as sort of a benchmark mark or a guideline to tell somebody about how much of something they should be eating. Now, the big problem with this is you can't endlessly put different calorie totals on, so they just choose 2,000 calories as a standard daily total. So if you only eat 1,500 calories naturally, these percentages are gonna be off. Okay. You know, they're gonna yeah. be different than what yours would be if you ate a serving because you're eating less. And if you ate 3,000 calories a day, they're gonna be too little, you know? Yeah. So you kind of have to adjust you know, mentally based on how much you actually are supposed to eat a day. But in this case, that'd be 5% of your daily allowance. Because the idea is you wanna monitor fat grams so that you're not getting too many. You know, if it's too high, like for instance, if you look at butter, which we don't have here, that's gonna be your daily total of saturated fat, 50% from one serving because better has high saturated fat. So in this case, it's a low total of only 5%. So you have hardly done any damage if you eat your oatmeal. And the next up, cholesterol, it has zero milligrams, so that's 0%. That's again, something we monitor. Low cholesterol generally is considered good. So next up um, would be sodium. This also has zero milligrams, 0%. But clearly, most of our breakfast cereals, even cereals, are gonna have high amounts of sodium. Um, this is why this is a smart choice because a lot of processed foods, even you know ones that are inherently sweet, they're gonna have a ton of sodium. Canned soups are one of the worst offenders. You know, their sodium totals upwards of 50% just for one serving of soup.